everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to answer the question, what is drift and how can you avoid drift when graphing? Let's get started. Suppose a problem asks me to graph the equation y equals 2 thirds x plus 1. So the way I would probably graph this is by starting at my y-intercept, which is 0, 1. And then from here, I would probably go up two units and over three units and draw another point. So from here, I need to draw a line to connect these. So I'm going to try to do this sort of freehand so you can see exactly what can happen when you use a ruler and you don't do a super good job of following those points. So let's just see what happens if I try to draw a line to connect those two points. Okay, so let's say I draw a line. Again, I'm not doing a super great job of staying. Okay, so then... Right? Hopefully you can see that I didn't exactly capture both points. I didn't do a super great job. Well, why is this a problem? Well, let's say instead of just ask, being asked to graph one line, I'm actually asked to graph a system of equations, so two lines. So let's say my other uh, line is y equals x. Okay? So as you can see, this is the same as y equals 1x plus 0. So if I want to graph this, I would start at 0, and I would go up 1 over 1. Okay, so again, if I wanted to, um, say, draw this line, right, uh, or draw a line to connect them, you know, I might do, you know, something like this, right, and then it seems, you know, depending on how good of a job that I do drawing this line, um, it looks like maybe they touched right here, right, somewhere, and clearly that point where they touch is not really anywhere on the grid, okay. So hopefully you can see that um, I really need to be very precise when I'm graphing these lines. And if I'm not, then um, I can really, it can be um, very difficult to find the point of intersection. So let's get rid of some of the stuff here. So let's go back and just have these two points. So how can I get rid of drift? Well, the easiest way is to use my slope, 2 over 3, to generate points beyond just these two points here. So from this point, I'm going to keep going up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. Then, remember, you can also go down 2, left 3, down 2, left, left 3, down 2, left 3. Okay? So now, when I draw a line from the beginning all the way to the end, hopefully you can see there is no drift, right? I, I've um, used a ton of points instead of just two, so everything is exactly where it should be. So now, let's do the same thing with y equals x. So again, it starts at zero, so then it goes up one over one, up one over one, up one over one, and so on, okay? Then I, of course, I can also go down one over one, down one over one, and so on, and I want to do that basically until I run out of graph paper, until I run out of room. So now let's see what happens when we connect these points, or sorry, when we, yeah, when we connect the points into a line. Now that I've done this and I've taken the extra time, it becomes very obvious that they do cross, actually, at a grid point. They cross right here at this point, and hopefully you can see that the x value is 3 and the y value is 3. So instead of connecting at some random place that's off the grid, they do actually connect at this point, this ordered pair 3, 3. So again, the best way to avoid drift and to make sure that your lines are exactly where they should be is to make more than two points. Again, if you just do two points, you're going to run into trouble because your line is going to drift away from where it's meant to be, and it's going to be very difficult to find the correct ordered pair that you're meant to find.